while uh, Manish Sisodia has been produced in court, literally outside the court in the national capital, it's a battleground, uh, a political battleground, a battle of optics, a battle of reaching out to public with messaging. Aam Aadmi Party massive protests outside their own party headquarters. That's right, Neha. And as Alok was just mentioning that the Aam Aadmi Party workers had uh, planned even before when Manish Sisodia was presented for the first time, they had planned that they will go to the BGP headquarters to protest. But yeah, uh, they, they are, are protesting right outside the Aam Aadmi Party headquarters because they haven't been allowed to go to the BGP headquarters. So this is these are the visuals that you're seeing from right outside uh, the Aam Aadmi Party headquarters. And it's also interesting to point out here that this is right next to the Rouse Avenue court, which is the CBI court. So the, the building that you're seeing in the background is the Rouse Avenue court where Manish Sisodia's uh, uh, plea is going to be heard and where the CBI is expected to ask for more custody for Manish Sisodia there. So uh, this is, this is uh, that is why this location becomes extremely important, which is why there's extra security presence there as well. And even the last time when Manish Sisodia was presented um, in that CBI court, um, Several uh, uh, security personnel were deployed as well, and in fact, barricading was done far uh, beyond the, the Rao's Avenue post so that uh, these protesters and other people can't come there because, of course, it's a high security environment considering that uh, the, the money the Sodia was being presented there. So that's why uh, this location becomes extremely important for the Amadi Party leaders are protesting. Now, to also point out here that what the Amadi Party leaders are saying, as we've been highlighting, that they're saying that central agencies such as CBI and ED are being used against uh, the Amadi party leaders because of their growing uh, popularity and they as the Amazon party has really pictured Manish Sodia as uh, the, the best uh, education minister. They say that uh, the BJP is scared of this, uh, the BJP is scared of his popularity and of course as we know that both Manish Sodia and Satyendra Jain have now resigned as ministers in the Delhi cabinet after they have been, uh, after they, both of them have been uh, arrested and uh, uh, in jail. So. We also know that Safi Jain has been in jail for the last eight months now. He was arrested in the month of July and he's still in jail. And now Manish Sodia has been in jail for close to one week now. He has been in CBI custody. So it's really important to see what happens today, uh, whether the CBI gets further custody of Manish Sodia in case that happens then we could expect further protests from the Aam Aadmi Party leaders because uh, let's also remember here what the Aam Aadmi Party's argument here has been against Manish Sisodia's arrest. They've been saying that uh, the only reason for an arrest or for a custody should be um, uh, if you want to further question uh, the, uh, the accused in this case and you want to get further uh, information in this. So Aam Aadmi Party is saying that Manish Sisodia is anyway serving all the summons. He's anyway completely cooperating with the investigation. The, uh, the we also searched his home, we searched his bank locker, uh, then he's been questioned twice. He was first questioned in October last year and now he's been, uh, being questioned a uh, second time. And they say that while he's fully cooperating with the entire investigation, so why do you really need to keep him under arrest? If he's going to come, if at all you have any questions from uh, Manish Sisodia, you can call him for, uh, you can summon him for questioning and he'll serve those summons and then you can ask him whatever questions you want. So that's the primary argument that was made by Manish Sisodia's lawyer as well um, in uh, the last hearing at the CBI court where he said that the CBI only wants his custody because he's not self-incriminating. Uh, he's not saying what the CBI wants him to say and they said that that can't be a valid reason to ask for somebody's custody and keep somebody in jail simply because the accused is not telling you what you want to uh, what you want them to say so those were the primary arguments Neha that uh, Manish Sisodia's lawyer gave and the Aam Aadmi Party has been giving uh, in the court. So we can expect those arguments as well uh, from Manish Sisodia's side today as well because that remains the Aam Aadmi Party's stand that uh, we have been cooperating and even if you remember while Manish Sisodia was summoned for questioning for the second time last Sunday, before he went for his uh, questioning to the, CBI, uh, to the CBI, he had put out a tweet and he said that I'm fully cooperating with the entire investigation and in fact at that time, before he was arrested, he put out a tweet saying that I'm ready to be arrested for six or seven months. Uh, uh, that doesn't matter because he said that he's working for the country and he's working for the betterment of the people. 
So that's the entire picture and the entire uh, 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 statement uh, that uh, are being put up by the Aam Aadmi Party leaders. Their entire uh, stand is that we are cooperating with the investigation, so there's no need to keep Manish Sisodia in jail. But let's also remember now that the other um, another social minister in the Delhi government who had been in who has been in jail, Satyendra Jain, for the last eight months now, and while he was also arrested, there were protests, there were uh, several statements by Mr. Arvind Kejriwal. But why? Now we know that eight months down the line, he's still in jail, uh, while the focus. So from that has sort of shifted. So right now we're seeing that Manish Sisodia has been recently arrested. So we're seeing these repeated protests by the Ambadi party leaders. And in fact, when uh, Arvind Kejriwal also addressed a press conference uh, in his first press conference after Manish Sisodia uh, was arrested, he said uh, that these are ministers who are doing extremely good work uh, in the national capital. He is responsible for completely changing the image of government schools, and Satyan Rajan was responsible for completely changing the image of uh, government hospitals. And that's why uh, they have been arrested.